Chapter 10 Tintin the Comic Hero The adventures of Tintin continue to interest and fascinate his fans many decades after this irrepressible comic hero first appeared in print on January 10, 1929. The creation of the Belgian author Hergé, whose real name was Georges Prosper Remy, Tintin is one of the most recognized and best-loved fictional characters and perhaps Belgium's most famous icon. Although essentially a comic strip character, Hergé knew the importance of accurate research and took care to place Tintin in a real and believable world. Clippings from magazines, visits to museums, consultation with experts, all contributed to the successful shaping of his lovable character. An adolescent with no known family, this endearing character is a journalist, an adventurer and a detective all rolled into one. The round-faced, dotty-eyed reporter has only one distinctive feature, the celebrated quaff. The Brussels newspaper Le Vingtem Siècle introduced Tintin in a comic supplement and he hasn't looked back since. The intrepid, ageless reporter has had an uncanny knack of surfacing at just the right moment in international crises. Along with a supporting cast led by his faithful dog Snowy, Captain Haddock and the eccentric Professor Calculus, Tintin battles good-for-nothings of all stripes. Spies, drug runners, mad scientists and Latin American guerrillas. The boy reporter's first adventure was Tintin in the land of the Soviets and he exposed the Soviet propaganda and put the communists in their place. From this debut, he went on to be present at the Japanese invasion of China in the 1930s to get embroiled in an oil crisis in the Middle East. Before trekking to the capital of crime, Chicago, he was in Belgian Congo in Africa. He even went on a voyage to the moon, 15 years before Neil Armstrong landed on the moon aboard Apollo. It is a familiar sight in these comic strips to see Tintin grabbing his coat to chase another adventure with his trusted Snowy in tow. From villainous drug smugglers at sea to expeditions to the North Pole and searching for sunken treasures in the Caribbean, Tintin and his gang have escaped the jaws of death many times. Courageous, ingenious, modest and practical, Tintin never hesitates to confront the forces of evil and protect the weak. The breathless career of this young journalist with his cowlick hair has taken him all over the world in 23 of his comic adventures. With his exploits, the dashing reporter conquered the hearts of readers of comics and generated a legion of Tintin fans across the world. The Tintin books have been translated into more than 60 languages. The last adventure was left unfinished on Hergé's death in 1983. This favorite hero hasn't chased any new adventure after the demise of his creator. But Tintin lives on in an endless stream of Tintin t-shirts, watches and mugs. The fact of the matter is that although Tintin's last completed adventure appeared in 1976, he is more alive today than ever before. A silver 10 euro coin depicting Tintin and Snowy was minted specially for the 75th anniversary in 2004 in honor of this endearing comic character. The American director Steven Spielberg made the animated film The Adventures of Tintin in 2011, which became a hit across the world.